So I'm showing you a, a video of a dog that is obviously in the early stages of degenerative myelopathy, and we can see the loss of coordination of the pelvic limbs. And this can actually be brought out, uh, particularly when turning the dog around, you know, in a circle, and we can recognize the uh, loss of coordination. So this is called general proprioceptive ataxia, and with that and prior after that, we have the spastic weakness. We also recognize the loss of proprioceptive placement based on the inability of the dog to turn their paws over, and we can recognize wearing of the toes, particularly uh, in this case. So a dog should be able to readily uh, flip the paws over when, when they're placed in such a position, and we can see, again, the asymmetry reflective of this. So we have a composite of, of four videos looking at the different stages. I've already shown you the general purpose of ataxia with uh, spastic weakness initially. Eventually, these dogs become uh, non-ambulant and need assistive walking devices. And then the disease hits a different form. It will spread up to affect the strength in the, in the thoracic limbs. And we can see loss of proprioceptive placement here. And we will also notice a flaccidity or development from a spastic weakness to a flaccid weakness in the pelvic limbs. And we can recognize the loss of muscle mass and the flaccidity in the limbs, indicating lower, the disease is spread from an upper motor neuron to a lower motor neuron type of presentation. The, we, the reflexes become you know, absent, and dogs may also develop urinary incontinence uh, during this stage. In the final stages of, of degenerative myelopathy, the affected dog will develop a flaccid weakness in all limbs and also evidence of, of lower motor neuron signs or decreased reflexes in both the pelvic and the thoracic limbs. We'll also notice a, a decrease in the cutaneous trunk eye reflex, and these dogs will develop also signs of difficulty swallowing and loss of bark in the later stages of disease. More commonly in Japan and the U.S., um, because euthanasia is not uh, a part of the culture, uh, the dogs will eventually lose the ability to spontaneously breathe and go into respiratory failure.